Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you just heard, I've been giving me orders this morning. I did say to Toon last night after we posted the uh, quail video that I've been challenged to do the quail cage all on my own. Uh, the thing is, I had a couple of drinks before I said it, uh, and unfortunately she's remembered that that's what I said. So I've got to do this Billy No Mates. Right, the design, I've got flapping around in my brain is to use our leftover black plastic net in there and some blue pipe work and uh, so no wood involved no metal involved and we'll see how we get on piece of fat I reckon about 45 minutes got everything cut to size ready to assemble and just noticed that sweetheart had only picked up five corner connectors so just let her know she needs to bring three more back for me but I'll go ahead and assemble what I can and then that will enable me to get the the black um, netting material cut to size going well the base is now complete and I've uh, just laid it upside down so that I can lay the black netting on the underside from above make it a bit easier and I'm going to use this stuff to tie this end here get this nice and tight uh, and then I can pull it taut at the other end and uh, get that tied off then and cut to size this stuff's really good it's uh, it's, it's minimal stretch uh, lasts quite a long time as well better than the uh, string stuff that you see it's, it's 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 almost like a like a braid okay on to the next phase check this out look at my needlework this uh brought back fond memories of being in mrs cowcraft's class learning cross stitch see you doubted me but i bet i'm making you a believer now Right, so that's the uh, the base done. There's not a lot else I can do apart from pop the corner vertical ones in and then wait for Mrs. to come back with the, uh, the extra corner bits. But yeah, happy with the progress so far. Okay, that's it for now then. I can do no more. I think I've earned a brew, haven't I? Okay. Don't worry guys, it's... Uh, I know it looks complicated and you may well struggle doing the same as me but uh, I'll stick it all on an ebook for you. Uh, £9.95 for your finest British pounds. Got to be a bargain that has. Links in the description below. Okay, let's get the kettle on. So that's outside done and dusted and then another 12 hours on or so from a quail video the other day look at them all I reckon there's about we've got about a hundred now so we're going to leave them till the end of today and then uh, they'll be outside right I really must get on with my quail cage keep talking about it let's get busy the Wanderer has returned with the corner brackets so the uh, tubular frame system is now complete I've uh, ingeniously designed a little door access hatch here to lower the, uh, the food and water in there so once I've had a bite to eat I'll uh, carry on my cross stitch enjoy Hi there. Come back from town, Mr. Lee. Nearly, nearly done. Still not done his job. For one thing, all day he have to do. 
Oh dear. What do you think? Um. Wow. wow. Yeah, it's fucking wow. Brilliant. Just gotta do this bit here. And that'll be my flap system. Put some on, on there, I think. Wow. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> So, while some people have been taking it easy today, I accepted the YouTube challenge of creating this masterpiece. All done in 45 minutes and six hours. <clears throat> All done. It's quite high because quail like to fly. We could have done it about half the height. Um, so it has made it a little bit more tricky to lower the food in, but we suspend the food anyway, so um, it's not an issue. Uh, and all we're gonna do on the top here is lift it up like that, and then lower the, the foods down there. So there's absolutely zero chance of anything getting out or getting in. When you finish putting the food and water in, Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt. Feast your eyes upon it. Total cost, no idea whatsoever. We already had the, uh, the plastic net in, we had some pipe work. Uh, so it was a ball of string, a little bit of pipe and some corner, corner attachments, that was it. So tomorrow, we're gonna put the new quail in there, weather permitting. If it's uh, a bit too windy, or well, it looks like we're gonna get some rain and we'll hold off. But they're still hatching. We've got well over 100 now, I think. And there's still a few coming out, so we'll leave them tonight. Right guys, thanks for watching. And uh, ta-da for now. Ta-da for now. Bye. Bloody easy life, you. Then away you find the time.